It's our first sea day today. I wake up and it is beautiful out here. Something weird's going on with Carnival Valor right now. There's some weird stuff happening on the ship. It's a sea day. Are these cruise tickets? We're going on a carnival cruise in 12 days. There's a party on the Lido deck tonight, and we're invited. Sea day. What's this sea have in store for me? Here I come, Cozumel. <laughs> Today is our first day at sea. Go get a coffee, and I'm gonna be ready to go. Java Coffee Shop on deck five does the premium coffees that you're gonna have iced coffees and stuff like that. When they say energy drinks, I think pretty much all they mean is Green Monster. We're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising. We're sailing in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. In the Gulf of Mexico. Cora was saying, I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna do my homework because, you know, she's missing some school to be on this little trip and what do you think she's doing right now? I knew when the lady said that they were gonna get up early in the morning, that they were full of it. I thought you had some, uh... That's tomorrow. It's nice out there, so get up. They don't get up at early in the morning. Get out of here. It's like 8.50 and I just woke them up. 8.50 a.m. Is that early to you? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, well, we're gonna go down and get a coffee. Carnival by the family, this is Marty, your cruise director. I'm not sure what we're doing today. There's a show at 9.30 that he was just talking about on announcements. He's gonna talk about like the highlights of the day and he's gonna announce people whether you're here for like a birthday or just celebrating with friends or like any kind of celebration. He'll announce you on the thing. I want to find a way to have him announce dad because Brandy and I want to do something, whether it's at like dinner or I feel like that would be cool. I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll see if we pull it off. But um, other than that, I'm not sure what our plan is for today. Oh, they're coming back. Good. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> so we just grabbed a coffee at the, the Java bar and pretty good kind of a a basic bitch when it comes to coffee. How's your coffee? Thank you. It's good. It's the um, white chocolate latte with caramel. I got my coffee. I'm all amped up now. We're out on the sea. We're out sailing. I got my sea legs. I'm ready to take on this day. I want to see what the sea has in store for me. I do need to hydrate. I need to hydrate. Yeah. I think I'm going crazy and the stateroom is so small. It's like, I feel like the walls are closing in on me. All right, I'm ready. Oh, really? I just love that whooshy sound out here. Let's go. Yeah. We sailing, baby. We are sailing. It can feel weird walking on an outer deck of a cruise ship while it's moving. To me, it just feels like I'm on one of those airport people movers. It's kind of a cool feeling. We took our daughter on this cruise as a Christmas gift. Since it was her cruise, she chose how we'd be spending our time on the ship. We just walked around and explored while finishing our morning coffee. If you have young kids and want to drop them off for some adult time, the Carnival Valor has a youth area called Camp Ocean. They'll keep them entertained through various activities while you and your honey enjoy some alone time. If you're looking for a chill place on the cruise ship without kids, there's the adults only area called Serenity at the front of the ship on deck 12 and 14. Something weird's going on with Carnival Valor right now. There's some weird stuff happening on the ship. I don't know what's going on here. I left my shower cap improvising. The guy fixed yeah. up our room and made the little towel. Is it supposed to be an octopus? What is it? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's like really a, cool. is it a rabbit? What is that? Uh, it looks like he's twerking though. It, he does. Looks he's like, like, he's twerking? He's like, yeah. what is it? Like, His look. butt's in the air, right? Yeah. What the heck is he doing? It's a sexy pose. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like, hey there. <laughs> you are so. <laughs> that look pretty. <laughs> First drink of the day. It's going down pretty good. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we're getting closer. Good. 
It was a gorgeous sea day on the Carnival of Valor, and in Ohio, that time of the year can be cold, dark, and a little gloomy, so I just wanted to spend most of my time outside in the sun. It's January 7th, and I'm sitting on a cruise ship in a swimsuit. This is why we work so hard. Got myself a green iguana. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Is it flapping? Burritos on the Lido deck. They had it set up like a Chipotle kind of deal. You could get a bowl or you could get a burrito or tacos. You just go through and they, they put whatever you want on it with whatever ingredients that they have. Man, I had him hook up this burrito for lunch. What you got? I got everything on it except the <laughs> The aftermath. So good. Not far from a blue iguana on the Lido deck is a guy's burger joint. There you can make your hamburger with hand cut fries and whatever toppings you want. We ate there the first day and got zero footage. Bahama mama! <laughs> Cora? Baby, don't you know? We're cruising. We all just woke up from a nap. We are gonna go out to dinner. It is elegant night on the ship. We are trying to figure out what the closest bar is to us because I walked to the casino bar earlier today thinking that it was the closest, but I felt like it was too far. There's gotta be a really bar that's close. It's like, but maybe I just gotta go up a flight or down a flight. I'm just trying to figure out my quickest path to my drink so when the ladies are getting around, I can just hop on down, grab a drink, suck it down. I could run up and I could play a little game out of it. So we just went down to the Skybox. I found that the Skybox is actually the closest place to get a drink. That is the bar that I will be going to to get my drinks. Well, the ladies are getting around oh for elegant night. I got myself an amber ale. It's really good. I'm a beer guy. I like many different styles of beers. I'm a big craft guy. I like to switch it up. So the ladies are gonna get around and we are going to have the greatest night yet on the Carnival Valor. One thing I wanna check out tonight, a comedy show. Cora's never been to a comedy show, I don't think, so that would be perfect. Knowing us though, we'll probably arrive late and then just not have a spot. <laughs> I mean, that's usually what happens. So I want to do that. Probably we're going to hit up the casino again. I know we oh, have yeah. some extra money there. But what else do you guys want to do tonight? I want to go to the Studio VIP show. There's, isn't there a party on Lido Deck or something tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I want to go to that party. Party tonight on the Lido Deck. It's music trivia night or something like that. All types of music. But apparently it's a huge party. So yeah, there's a party on the Lido Deck tonight. And we're invited and you're invited too. On our way to Mexico. We're getting ready to hit up the main dining room for dinner tonight. At these dining rooms, if there is something that you want that is not on the menu, you can order it at any time. Last night, I had the salmon. If I wanted the salmon tonight, even though it's not on the menu for tonight, I could order the salmon again and they can make that work for me. And last night's service was amazing. So I'm expecting tonight to be exactly like last night. Those guys were like on top of it. Carnival. Valor. Our experience in the main dining room was always good. We chose your time dining. Your time dining just means that you show up at your assigned dining room during dinner hours and get sat on a first come, first serve basis instead of having a set dinner time. All together, we're gonna sing happy birthday to kids. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Happy birthday. Our servers were great. They were super fast, friendly, and helpful. We're not big foodies and not picky at all, so we would ask for food suggestions. Our servers were more than willing to tell us what was good or not on the menu every night. To you. Thank you. I 
should have known that you guys were gonna do that at one point. <laughs> so we celebrated James' birthday when we were on the cruise, and he got a $50 spa gift card that he didn't know about, so it expired. <laughs> um, it comes on the Hub app, and then we got $12 off of the Pixel, which, which is the picture store. I didn't store. know about it until after we bought he the picture. He didn't pictures. know about it until he bought our picture. <laughs> One thing that is pretty cool about this is that they have edible straws. So, like, um, eco-friendly, save the turtles. Wait, hang on. Show me how eco-friendly it is. And there's like, there's different flavor straws. So this one's a lime one, and they have chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, and uh, it's pretty cool. So I am losing my voice from, probably from singing. We went to karaoke at Winston's Bar and I sang and I love to sing. I just like to have a good time. The karaoke was fun. There were some good singers in there. You have to go all the way in the back, like in these little hallways. Kind of reminded me of an underground bar because it was so hidden and it was like smaller area. It reminds me of the, like a speakeasy. <laughs> so we went to the Red Frog Pub which had live entertainment and we all enjoyed our time. There is something about somebody that has an acoustic guitar and someone on a drum set and someone that has like actual instruments like the violins that are in the atrium and the people that are in like the Red Frog Pub. I love live music. I like the live music in the, the pub in the frog thing or whatever aside from our little incident our daughter got an eyeful there was a upside down pineapple party <laughs> happening <laughs> we were sitting there and all of a sudden there were there was like a couple on the dance floor dancing and then another couple came up and all four of them just started making out with each other and there was a lot of this <laughs> I don't know how the people that were singing didn't laugh I mean, they, they did at the end, but like, I don't know how they didn't in the middle of the song, though. So, I'm not sure what was really happening in that pub, but there was clearly some upside-down pineapple-age. Tonight, we went to the piano bar. And it was fun. You could, like, you can request songs, and then um, there's not just seating at the, like, the piano bar or whatever. There's seating everywhere. Like, it's a little hangout area. The artist there tonight was hilarious. He was funny. He would, like, talk in between his songs. He would, he, would, <laughs> he would talk in between his songs. So it was kind of like, we missed the comedy show, but we got another one. Piano bar, check it out. We went outside, I think that was our next step, to the outside party. And that was so fun. Lots of singing. Lots of dancing. It was a great time. There was a lot of people out there. It was like the best music of like the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, which that's pretty much what it was. I can't really say anything too bad about this cruise, honestly. For us, this is kind of like right up our alley. Great drinks, great music. There's other ships that have more amenities, that have more things on them. But for a four day cruise, this ship, it's a good ship. Especially for a first time cruiser. I think if you're a first time cruiser, you probably wouldn't jump on something like this. Just because the price and everything's probably gonna be right in a good range. When we wake up in the morning, we're gonna be in Cozumel, Mexico. How do you feel no, about that core? You won't be. When you when I wake up, uh, we won't be in Mex or yeah, we won't be in Cozumel. We probably will be though. Well, I'm waking up at like 
6.30 or 7 o'clock. I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm going to do schoolwork. And then we'll arrive at 8. I wanna get that all done before we arrive in Cosmo. Dreams. I will see you tomorrow morning in Cozumel, Mexico. If you haven't already, make sure you tap the like and subscribe to the channel. Coming for you, Cozumel. Thank you.